it's Mrs. A again, um, celebrating St. Patrick's Day, as we should today um, as Catholics. Um, even though we're not at school, we can learn, learn, learn about them. Um, so I'm going to read you a little story about St. Patrick's Day by Gail Gibbons. St. Patrick's Day is celebrated each year on March 17th. This holiday is celebrated by the Irish and other people in many parts of the world. They honor St. Patrick, the patron saint of Ireland. St. Patrick lived many years ago. He was born in Britain around the year 380 and raised in a Christian family. His parents didn't name him Patrick. Some people believe his name was Maywin. While still a boy, he was kidnapped <clears throat> and brought to Ireland where he was made a slave. That's something that works without getting paid. His captors, people that caught him, forced him to herd sheep he prayed that God would help him. Six years later, he escaped. After finally arriving back in Britain, he lived quietly, thought, and prayed. He realized what he wanted to do. He had dreams of returning to Ireland to teach the people about God, which is all of our jobs. He went to France to study religion. In the year 432, the head of the Catholic Church, the Pope, named him Patricius, the Latin name for Patrick. He became a priest and then a bishop. At last, Bishop Patrick's dreams came true. He sailed back to Ireland and began preaching. He built churches and schools all over the community. People noticed his kind ways and trusted him. <clears throat> Bishop Patrick spent the rest of his life caring for the Irish people. They loved this kind man. People honor Patrick on March 17th because he died on that date in the year 461. Later, the Catholic Church made him a saint, St. Patrick. Today, many things are done to celebrate this holiday. People go to church to give thanks to St. Patrick for his work in Ireland. People have fun too. They dress in green to honor an ancient Irish custom. Hundreds of years ago, the people of Ireland burned branches with green leaves during the month of March and spread the ashes in fields to make them fertile and green. To wear green is to honor Ireland, the Emerald Isle. The ashes part reminds me of Ash Wednesday, like we just celebrated not too long ago. Decorations are put on doors and windows. Shamrocks <clears throat> appear everywhere. The shamrock is a plant that has three leaves and looks like clover. It is the symbol of St. Patrick as well as of Ireland. And for us, the clover or the shamrock uh, reminds us of the Holy Trinity, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Leprechauns are remembered on St. Patrick's Day. Long ago, some Irish folk believed in these little magic creatures. It was thought if you caught a leprechaun, you could make him lead you to a pot of gold. Leprechaun comes from the old Irish word, corpen, meaning the wee one, meaning itty bitty. 
People believe they were only as big as your thumb. There is a shillelagh too. In Ireland, many years ago, there was an old oak forest called Shalala. The Irish liked to own a sprig of Shalala, a short oak club from the forest. Often people decorate Shalalas with green ribbons. And I apologize if my pronunciations are not correct. The harp is one of the <clears throat> oldest musical instruments and has been popular with the Irish people since early times. It serves as another St. Patrick's Day decoration. The harp is a streamed instrument. It plays beautiful music. On St. Patrick's Day, people may give cards to their families and friends. People also make cakes, cookies, and goodies to share with others. Some people give flowers. Others wear green carnations or pin shamrocks to their clothes to celebrate the holiday. There may be St. Patrick's Day plays too. Some families and friends have quiet times together in remembrance of St. Patrick. Often there are meals to share. St. Patrick's Day parties are given too. It is fun to sing Irish songs, dance Irish jigs, and play games. little girl that I used to babysit for actually does Irish dancing here in Charlotte. In many places, there are St. Patrick's Day parades. Flags flutter in the wind. Pipers and fiddlers play Irish tunes. They're kind of like flutes. There are green hats, people in costumes, green banners, lots of green. The first time St. Patrick's Day was celebrated in the United States was in 1737 in Boston, that's in Massachusetts. Each year, the Irish and many other people love to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. For many people, it is a day for worship and for celebration. And if you're not Irish, to feel a little bit Irish. I'm more Italian than Ooh, here are some legends about St. Patrick. So we have St. Patrick and the snakes. It is said that St. Patrick got rid of all the snakes in Ireland. By beating his drum, he frightened or scared them into the sea. Today, there are no snakes in Ireland. St. Patrick and the poison. Some people say that a wizard tried to kill St. Patrick by putting poison in his drink. St. Patrick quickly turned it into ice and tossed it from his cup. So up here we have the snakes <clears throat> the poison. We have two more. Whoop, four more. St. Patrick and his cloak. It is said that St. Patrick had a friend who borrowed his cloak it's like a jacket. There was a big fire where the friend was staying, but he was not hurt because he was wearing St. Patrick's cloak. This is the next one that I was telling you about earlier. St. Patrick and the Shamrock. St. Patrick used the Shamrock to explain to people about the Holy Trinity, one God and three divine beings, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Growing at his feet was a shamrock. He used this plant to explain three in one, one stem and three leaves. So here's the one stem, they're all part of one, but there's 
three parts. <clears throat> St. Patrick and the Fish. Another legend is that each year on March 17th, fish rise from the sea. They pass before St. Patrick's altar in Ireland and then disappear back into the sea. St. Patrick and the Sunset. It is said that the sun didn't set when St. Patrick died, and that it shone in the sky for 12 days and nights. The end. There's a little St. Patrick's Day fun for you. Um, hope you guys were able to celebrate a little bit today. Um, if not today, maybe add some green food coloring, just some milk or some pancakes tomorrow, um, just a little bit of fun or green sprink sprinkles, um, dry picture or something that is your favorite um, that is the color green. I think mine would probably be grapes. I like green grapes Ooh, or avocados. Avocados are also cool. All right, my friends. Love you. Have a good night. Be safe. Bye.